Hihi. Hey, yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and I am back on the Minecraft Vanilla server, baby. <laughs> and, ah, uh, my throat is better. I'm feeling good. Just had a big old coffee. And I've been doing, oh, it's dark. I'm all alone on the server. Let's go take a nap. I've been doing the work. J Jenny B doing the work. Uh -uh, doing the I have been at my folks' house, and you know when you go to your parents' house, sometimes it's just like, <laughs> you know, you, you might watch a little TV. My folks aren't, well, my mom's a big talker. My dad's not that big of a talker. But, you know, after a little bit, you're like, well, I'm just going to go work on stuff. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. I've been, I'm, I'm a loving son, but also I need my time away. And so I have been working on the conservatory. Uh, I looked it up and that is the word, except it has a bar in it. So it's a conservatory parlor. And are you ready? I am so, you know, there's not many times. I know I, I'm a little, uh, what do they call it? Self-deprecating a bit. I'm a little humble. Oh, Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. <laughs> um, But uh, I got to pat myself on the back and toot my own horn. Ooh, because I, I am super proud. I, it took so much time. I'm super proud of what I've done. You ready? I'm going to look down because I don't want to spoil it. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, you guys are going to... I know you're going to love it. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> even the game approves. <laughs> so uh, let me give you a little walkthrough and show you what I've been uh, doing. I got the skylight up there with just a little bit of uh, design. Um, and I'm using the oak just to kind of give it like a... I don't know, like maybe a little Victorian type, but no, Art Nouveau, ooh, Art Nouveau uh, vibe to it, Art Deco, and um, and then of course you saw the bar from last episode, got that all going, uh, someone said turn these sideways, that doesn't look very good at all, so we're leaving them like that, um, I got these planters, which are hanging from the ceiling, Using the uh, acacia, no, acacia, I know, acacia, uh, wood, acacia. I think uh, someone said, Corrales says, calls it the achacha wood, <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. Achacha. Um, oh, good old Corrales. Uh, but yeah, so I got little leaves pouring over there, a little bit of light, and then some vines. It makes it kind of crazy, gives it some depth. Uh, I have the... Fountain, your typical, that's pretty typical structure. Um, and I haven't filled in the bottom yet because I'm going to do something. I'll tell you about that in a second. A little bit of storage. I got to plug in some holes. A little bit of storage because this one I'll have, uh, I'll just be brewing some potions here just to kind of have them. Someone suggested that I put item frames with little bottles behind there. And I do want to test that out. Do I have so I don't have the tools or the ingenuity to do that right now, but they were saying because the item frame doesn't take up a spot, you could put an item frame right there behind this glass and uh, and then put a little bottle. I think that would look actually really cool. So I'm gonna test that out. Um, these acha cha trees, um, acacia trees, I grew a bunch of them and studied how they look and actually had to hand make these but i wanted them to look like as close to the real savannah trees as possible um so i did that so all of these both of these trees are hand built baby and what else i got the podzel i went off and grabbed myself quite a few stacks of podzel and all the different little flowers that go along with it um, oh, made some of these little, uh, whatchamacallit, planters with some stuff, with some stuff and such. And, oh, I got sneeze. 
<coughs> I'm awake. I'm good. And what else I got going on around here? No, I finished the finished the uh, balcony, so I got that going on. And the little bit of ceiling that was missing over there. This is just temporary. Goes up to the ceiling. Um, I'll remove that eventually, but right now for me, it's a good way to get up to the second floor. And yeah, oh, and, and then the floor. Speaking of the floor, this is. I wanted to make it a pattern. I looked up, uh, you know, Victorian floor patterns and stuff like that. And and the way this one works, it is a. If you stare at an an orange, ooh, no, I'm fine. You hear that fan going? Woo! I've been working hard, baby. Um, if you stare at the orange wood, you'll notice that there is the other four types of wood going around it in a pinwheel pattern. And so every one you look at, it does it. See? And, uh, but they're not all the same. So like this one has this guy up top, but if you go over here, it's got the dark one at the bottom. Um, that took a while to figure out, but I wanted something that looked like a pattern that was a pattern, but didn't necessarily have a very recognizable pattern look to it. So I think that's beautiful. And I just got a couple little little things to patch up. So that being said, I showed this to my mom. Oh no, before I, before I tell you this, um, the reason I haven't done the bottom of this is because if you look, I've got I have to double check because I want to put the villager breeder underneath here um, and then have that bartender like we talk about like we talked about last episode with the villager go into the breeding section to turn it on and when it's off then it'll come back up here um, the the doors and and stuff like that have to be exposed to a or at least one of the sides of the quote-unquote house, the breeding house, the breeding cell, uh, needs to be exposed to sunlight. And what I'm thinking is I can put uh, maybe like blue stained glass here. And I have to test it in creative, but I'm pretty sure that daylight will go through glass, water, and leaves. So it hopefully won't have to do much changing at all. If I do, I can always like do some finagling with a sign or whatever and go like that. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Um, so, showed this to my mom. Oh, man, I flipped my mouse around. Woo showed this to my mom, and my mom's like, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Woo and uh, she goes, you need to have a couple of people dancing around here. Like, you know, and I'm like, uh, Mom, it's not a ballroom, okay? It's a conservatory. <laughs> I mean, can't you, can't you tell by the wildlife, the flora, and the fauna? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who dances in a conservatory, right? <laughs> and uh, so my mom was like, well, I don't know. It just seemed that kind of cool. Put a little couple people in there. And so then I started playing around with it. And I was like, huh, you know, this gives me an idea. What if, because these are half slabs, I was like, what if I run a minecart underneath and have a little, you know, couple villagers going around? And uh, <clears throat> I tried it, and it looked real goofy. But then I was like, wait a minute. Maybe I can turn this into something kind of fun. And so what we're going to do today... Oh, heck. Just shoot that guy. You're not going to knock me off. Ha! Huh. It, man. Okay, hold up. Run. You won't go catch me, boy. Ha! Get. Oh, yeah, boom. Dead. Oh, you hear those trucks in the background. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do today is work on a bit of a prototype. Um, and the reason I say prototype is because I don't have all the furniture in place of, uh, you know, like, my thinking... I'm thinking uh, that possibly this room might make a nice. Uh, someone mentioned a billiards room in the uh, in the comments of the last episode. Which, by the way, <clears throat> little quick rant. I replied to it and I said that's a really good idea. I wonder 
like what kind of functionality I could put into it because I want to try to make every room have form and function, right? Um, I was like, I wonder what kind of functionality I could put into it. And I hit reply and it said, you're not allowed to reply to this person. And it's some craziness that they've integrated Google Plus into things and I know they'll fix it eventually. Fellas, don't worry. This is not a permanent solution. They, Someone didn't put their brain together when they implemented that and integrated us, the comments, into Google+. Plus. Because the fact that I can't respond to some of you guys is ridiculous. And the only thing I can say right now is... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink. And I'm going to take a, take a nap. Is sign up for Google+. Plus. If you want to make sure I can respond to you. I, I don't know what else to say right now, but I have a feeling they're going to have to fix it. I don't know how. Like, I went, they're removing the inbox, I think. I went to go check the inbox, and it says, only some some of your message will go here. And I think it's only the messages that uh, are from people who are not G-plus people. And then, so all my, all the comments you guys give me, like I'm having I'm having a heck of a time. I love. There's nothing more I love when I'm out and about, you know, going shopping with my wife or whatever. Whip out the old iPhone, look at some comments. Especially like if I just published a video, I want to see that you guys are are loving what I'm doing, right? Um, can't do it right now. It's really weird. It's really backwards. But they'll fix it. And here's the the view from above. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Okay, so that rant is over. Um, fix your game, YouTube. Thanks, YouTube bomba. <clears throat> All right, so I got to thinking, and I was like, now wait a minute. What if we used that minecart technology and we applied it to a zombie and every time I used it, it splashed an invisibility potion on it, and that zombie was wearing a pumpkin on its head. And I tested it out, and it looks hilarious. It looks like a little floating pumpkin is just walking around. And so this is my proof of concept. And like I said, the reason this is a little proof of concept, a prototype, I ran out of uh, slabs, uh, is <clears throat> I want to make sure that I get all of the, uh, all the furniture and stuff ready to go so like over there i was talking about billiards room i'm thinking maybe maybe here to be uh maybe the kitchen and then here might be like a pantry so that's where i would put some either food or just a you know like a, a storage room type of thing uh down here would be a small hallway uh and then these are gonna possibly i'm not really sure possibly lead out into a little back porch or I just may close it off and put windows. I'm, I'm not really sure yet. Um, <clears throat> I kind of feel like I've made this house big enough. <laughs> Time to start putting some work into it, Barbara. Uh, but I tell you what, I'm going to take a quick commercial break. I've got some great ideas on how to make this happen. That's all kind of redstone-y, but not too horribly difficult. And quick commercial break. I will be... All right, back. Okay, we back. All right, and we're ready to rock and roll. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to actually catch a zombie <laughs> and put a put a pumpkin on his head today, uh, but we'll at least get the the mechanics in place. How's that sound? Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to put. Let's get this dirt out of our way. Uh, I want to put the system in place that will launch the thing. And so what we want is we want this sucker to get shot with a with a potion of invisibility, and then at the same time we want it to power the rail and send it on its way. So I think, I'm gonna put a button right there, but basically as long as this guy gets powered, we're good to go. Uh, and then I, I'm gonna put my rails down. And like so, right? 
Oh, and I'm gonna have to put one right here. I'll put a couple in just a second. So, right, both of that happens, that's perfect. Let's make sure that this goes, I'm gonna send it on its merry way like that. You know what, I don't want maximum speed. Let's do, well no, okay, I'll do maximum speed, that's fine. Oh, but I don't need to do all those. Oh, oh, crapper. I just need to put one guy. Uh, and then, uh, uh, let's just do two just for the moment. Let me make sure. I'm going to put one, two, three. I know waste of redstone. I don't care. I like it. It looks super cool doing it this way. And then I don't need one there. That's our little switch mechanism. Perfect. This works. Okay. And then we're just going to go through like this. And by nature, we want it to turn. And we're just going to lay all these suckers out like that. Ooh, and then, oh, <laughs> I was like, what in the world was that? There's a glitch in the matrix. And running it on through. So just a little loop till we get to this point right here. Oh, and it's dark. Let's sleep. So when I first did this, I'll talk to you while I go run and sleep. Have I said right today? Right? 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 <laughs> um, oh, yeah, something's going down. Okay, good. Uh, at first when I designed this, I was like, oh, I'll just use a timer similar to what I did with the... Uh, with the fishing timer, the fish wars timer, and I realized, I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, nah, I don't need to do that. Really, oh, let me see, do I have a, oh, that's slowness, potion of invisibility. Let's grab one of those, and gunpowder, and we'll turn that into a splash one. Because I want to see, I want to see how long, I think it turns it from a, from an eight to a six. So yeah, it was like, all right, let's say this is six minutes. I'll just make a timer that will last six minutes. And that's when, that's when it goes through. And I was like, wow, boy, it sure is a whole lot of, whole lot of work. And then I started thinking, I go, oh, you know, instead I should just make a lap counter. Yeah, six minutes, okay. I should just make a lap counter and and go, okay, as long as, you know, we kind of time it and let's say it takes 30 seconds to go around the entire loop, for example. And I could go, okay, so that means this thing can go around 12 times in six minutes. Well, that's a, that's a lap counter. So all I'd really need to do is have something that would trigger it you know, in, uh, increase the count by one every lap it went. And sure enough, I was I, I made one, but I didn't like the reset on it. The reset was kind of wonky. So I looked around. Oddly enough, Titty Sir Minecraft, hey, Titty Sir, <laughs> uh, the guy who happened to design the, uh, the silent hopper clock thing that I had put together as well, he made this thing. And I was like, oh man, match made in heaven. This guy is like my brother from another mother. So I'm gonna try really hard to uh, to post the link in the comments. I'm, I'm really, really gonna try. I'm terrible at it. Uh, but this guy is pretty darn smart at making these sort of things. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna put in a uh, these little hoppers going back and forth into each other and just put an item. So it's like blink, 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 right? And you're gonna put a competitor coming out there. So that should, see it's like blink, 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 right? And even though that looks like it's not consistent, it's consistent, don't worry. And then, let's see, what else we got to grab here? Our dropper. This might do us. <clears throat> so that'd be flashing on and off. Womp, womp. And we will put 
couple comparators going into there. <clears throat> we'll drag drag our dude ham in there. And our hopper going back into there. Hello, here we go. Funk. And what this is, <clears throat> once we put something in here, so let's say we put in one item. So now it's all stopped, right? And hello, you in there? There we go. Let's put three in there. And I'll show you how this works. I'll show you how it works, see? Uh, if I put a, a block right there, and let's make a quick button. Sounds like a jet engine. And, okay, so the way this thing works is right now, if I can get up in you for the moment, thank you. This has got some, some stuff in here, right? Ouch. Which means this uh, comparator is on, which is locking that, that clock, this little hopper clock thing, right? So you see how it's not going back and forth? every time and then this torch right here is locking that hopper so if i hit it once nothing happened right but now there's one item in there and now there's one in there right i mean two one less in there hit it one more time boom boom now we got two in there now watch what happens turns off so it turns off for a little bit and now the whole thing's reset so what's happening there is once this one's out of stuff, then this one's on and this one's off and stuff starts going back. These are both on, which allows the little little guy to flip back and forth and life is good. And then that will uh, and then that will work. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I'm really good at explaining things. <laughs> uh, okay, so the only thing left to do at this point is to rig it up. Put a little dust right there. Put a thingy right chaw. And then watch this business. Uh ooh. Where my detector rail is. I had a detector rail. Put one right on top of there. Let's go run and get a detector rail, because apparently I have lost it somewhere. Where'd my car keys go? Where'd my car keys go? <laughs> I'm in a good mood. Mm. I am so ready, fellas. I'm leaving for Bulgaria in like nine days or something silly like that. Uh, detector rail. I, oh, oh, it's right there. <laughs> Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh my God, it's right there. <laughs> Lots of really really big things are are coming up in the next couple months and I and I'm not at liberty to talk about any of them oh oh poop come here huh I don't think so huh no I might watch oh I didn't get a I didn't get a minecart did I or did I nope no minecart let's go get a minecart uh lots of stuff going on in the land of generic B and uh, I I cannot. There's there's generic B stuff, B team stuff, Minecraft stuff. Uh, nope. I need to just go ahead and move all this. Actually, I'm gonna move all this stuff up in the house eventually. And some of the stuff I need to go ahead and move just to go ahead and get it out of my system. Um, but yes, it's it's gonna be when I go to Bulgaria, gonna hit the ground running. We are for sure doing Call of Duty Ghost Race to Commander with B dubs. Oh! Where did you drop in from? Whoa! Where did that guy drop in from? From up there? <gasps> oh, no kidding. Well, we gotta fix that. That was bad. Bad for business. Okay, so right up here. Yeah, we are doing it, but we have to wait until I get to Bulgaria. So I have my desktop and, and all that stuff ready. Unfortunately, 
Okay, so let's let's test this guy out. We're gonna put it right in here. And we're gonna hit it. So it's going. Okay, it's making the run. So picture, if you will, <laughs> you got a floating, floating uh, pumpkin head walking around. Okay, so now at that point, it should have, yep, so now there's one in there. Oh, it's working, it's working. Ooh, I'm a honey ghost, right? There's two. And I'm curious to see, I don't know about uh, speed, but let's see if I did it right. Oh, it worked. Okay, so I should put one right there. <clears throat> well, that's easy enough to fix. I can do this. Let's do this really quick. Put it, what, right? Maybe here? Do a little choppy choppy. Choppy choppy. Hey, my parents are back. They went for a walk. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> And I am going to do a vlog with my folks, just so you can see Dr. Duty and, and Mama, Mama Duty. <laughs> okay, so let, now that we've got this going, let's try this one more time. And it's very possible we have got it, and we can call it a day. And this button right here, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a good, a good thing to trigger this input. So you guys tell me what you think. Um, I don't want it to be, originally I thought maybe like the day-night sensor, but it, is it already dark? Holy crap. Uh, I don't want it to be running unless I'm there to see it. So a daylight sensor, I'd run out of uh, invisibility potions way too quick. Um, but I can run the redstone signal to that basically from anywhere. Um, at first I was thinking a doorbell might be kind of cool. Uh, maybe if I stand on a pressure plate somewhere or if I have a trip wire. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. You have some pretty good ideas. Uh, do I have some torches? I have two torches and a microphone. Let's put that just right here so we can see a little bit. But this is our final test. The final test. Let's see. And picture again, if you will, zombie in there or skeleton. Hmm, one of those two. Put him in. There he goes. Goes off on his merry way. <laughs> and it's the perfect height. It's going to look just like a little floaty skeleton. Right, so that goes. Do a little check. There's one that went through. Super simple. You can't beat that. There's so many uses for this thing. There's the second guy. Yep. Nice and slow. And then on the third one. And. Perfect. Oh, that's it. That's great. It works out flawless. And what's so cool about this is you can have up to 320 items. So. 320 laps of something you could do. That's quite a lot of laps, my friends. Uh, so definitely use that design if you want to do some lap counting. And what I'm thinking is if I if I make this a little bit, uh, uh, you know, once I get some rooms finished up, I can make this a little more elaborate, you know, this little system. Have it go through the kitchen and, like, check all the stuff. Ooh, and then... I have all this room. This is quite a big, this is a much larger hallway than I first thought it would be. Um, I can't really go up here because these are solid blocks, so you wouldn't really see it. Well, no, technically I can make them upside down slabs like that, but then you'd only see the top of the pumpkin. So I don't, mm, I'll test that. I don't know if enough of it will pop up to, to justify doing that. Um, but for sure, I could have it coming around here, Ooh, right uh, have it go through either a door here, which I probably do, or 
cut a hole in the door there, and I'm not sure if I want to mess up that mushroom because that took forever. Um, the, hey, shoosh. This is the wrong way, but maybe I can put it around there. For sure here, have it go all around here doing stuff. I could even make it do a little wiggling or something. Definitely can come in here, enjoy the enjoy the uh, the conservatory, right? And then come back around. So you, we could make quite a big loop and just have a little floaty pumpkin. <laughs> Haunted. <laughs> and then, of course, once we get the track where we want it to, we'll just put the half slabs back so you won't even notice it's there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, that is it for today, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, hit the like button. It really does help me out tremendously. And until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.